What is up Scott's family? Welcome back to the channel. So today, oh my gosh, I have a freaking bad headache. I have been sick on and off for the past like week and a half, two weeks. One day I'll feel great, the next day I'll just wake up and feel like trash the entire day. I don't know what's going on. I think I have a cold, hence why I have Tylenol. But yeah, I have like a head cold, but like my nasals, my throat, like everything's fine except I have a headache and I just have like a lot of leth lethargy, lethargy. I'm, I'm feeling lazy. Like most parents know, although I'm not a parent to real kids. Wait, did I just offend myself? These are real kids. Let me rephrase that. Since I'm not a parent to human children, we all know that we don't get any days off. You literally, you feel good or you feel like crap, you still have to feed all your pets or all your kids and your husband. Unless he's a boss and he cooks for you. Family. Anyways, I thought I should take this opportunity to feed all the pets since I have to anyways But with the headache since I am indeed feeling sick. So First we're gonna start off not with the dogs. We're gonna start off with the horses and with the cows So let's go do that first. So all the dogs think that they're going out right now, but unfortunately Nope, they're not because I'm feeding the cows and I don't want you guys to get squished by cows. Stay! Ha 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 ha. So, walking into my barn, here is our feed room and tack room. Here is all of the wonderful buckets. We have Flight's Athlete Grain in here. Flight is my horse. We have Tupelo in Flight Speed that they share. We have Flight's Gainer over here. Weight Gainer because Flight is a hard keeper. We have the Cow's Grain in here, which looks like that. And then I have my Quail Food right here. And then I also have my Dog Food right here. Oh, just kidding, that's Molly. My dogs don't like cats, they don't taste very good. So, I do not feed my horses grain in the afternoon. I only feed them grain in the morning, even though Flight wishes that he could get grain breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Unfortunately, Fligs, you can't eat that much grain, but you can eat hay. So, let me check your hay bag. You have some hay in there, would you? Oh, you're gonna give me a kiss. Give me some grain, Mom. Give me some grain. Oh, 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 what is, what is that camera? Is that? What do you think it is? Look at it, it moves. It can move. You're so pretty. If Flight was a brown horse, he would have a beautiful blaze on his face. You can kind of see his blaze. Anyways, I will go ahead and Throw them some hay. Normally I would put it in a slow feeder hay bag, but but I have a headache today, okay? I have a headache, I don't wanna throw it in there. And they still have hay, they still have some of their lunch. So, I'm gonna try to do this with one hand. This is considered one flake. Now, since there's still, since there still is hay in their hay bags, I'm only gonna give them one extra flake because normally I would, I like my horses to kind of free graze all day. So I always just load them up with hay and they always have something to munch on. Horses are grazers, free grazers, and they like to eat a lot of hay. All right, two blow incoming. Boop. So there's two blows. As you can see, they still have a lot of lunch. Now, here we have Molly. Molly says, ooh, I know what time it is. Feed me. So this is where I keep their food. And I'll just kind of grab this and fill them both up. 
All right, now it's time to feed uh, the cows. So normally I have a little bucket in here. Where is that bucket? I think I left it out over here when I fed them. Here is the bowl I was looking for. So right now I'm feeding my cows grain twice a day just because Ginger is pretty skinny and we need to get some weight on her. They don't eat too much grain. Probably about a scoop and a half. So I divide this grain right here between my two adult cows. So Ginger already sees it. Mary doesn't see it yet. Ginger, come on Ginger. They have buckets outside that I just keep out here. And I also keep this separated. I give her a little bit more because she's so skinny. Hi cutie. Hi. So if you guys don't know, these are our new cows. This is Ginger and she is a mom to this baby over here. Flies love them. Oh, you has a boo-boo right here. What happened? What happened? She's such a pretty mama, huh? She's such a sweet cow. You're very sweet. All right, so Mary is coming. Mary is the dominant female. Sorry, I was getting up. Mary is the dominant female, and she will ram Ginger and knock her over if she feels like her food's getting threatened. Oh my gosh, I'm coming close up to the baby. All right, all right, I know we're excited. Look at Mary. <laughs> Back up. This cow is very excited about things. Oh, you get to eat right next to a cow? She's like right here. Put it right here. Okay, okay. So this is Mary. As you can see, Mary does not need to put on any weight. Look at her. She loves her food. So her breed of cow is a Jersey cow. Jersey cows typically have this beautiful colored hair. So pretty. They also, this is one of my favorite things about the cows is this little lump up here. Like look at, that's not, that's not hair or anything. Physically, that's like part of their skull. Good girl. So he's a baby bull right now, but he will be steered very soon in the coming of months. He really wants somebody to play with. I wish I could get him like a bottle baby. Look at, he's like, play with me, mom. Play with me. Mary comes. She says, Ginger, get away from my food, Ginger. I own all the food. You should know that. You should know this. I don't have anything else. I know. I'm holding a bowl. It looks like I have food, but I don't. It's all gone. Baby's letting us get closer. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. All right, so cows are done. That is as easy as it gets. She says, no, no, we're not done. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Come back. They also have access to this mineral block right here, which has salt and minerals, and they love it. There's nothing like feeling sick and then going out into like a really humid area or climate and then going into an AC and then just being like, Bleh. I have a headache. Ooh. Now I am going to be feeding Franklin. Uh, mom, 
You better feed me or I'm gonna throw up all over the floor, okay? I need, I need food. Then Guppy says, Give me some food, I need some food. And Jelly says, Get me food right now. Just kidding, Jelly doesn't sound like that. And Willie says, Eh, hey, you better give me some food right now. Oh yeah, I'm going to pee on, the, on your carpet. Guppy's bowl. Guppy is still eating kibble. My other dogs are on raw food. I will be switching Guppy to raw food very soon. So my dogs do eat raw meat a couple times a week. I'll just give them this kind of raw meat. And then a couple times a week I buy these patties. They're called Tuckers. You guys can like Google it. It has a lot of vitamins and it's good. So I like to change their diet, alternate their diet, give them beef, give them chicken, give them turkey, give them pork, give them, you know, fish, salmon. So today we are doing some beef and chicken. So when you're feeding raw food, there's a lot of different things you need to do. Like look at the protein count and the bone count. Bone is calcium. And like, you don't wanna just feed your dogs raw meat like this because dogs need calcium. Um, there's a bunch of YouTube videos. Everybody has a bunch of different opinions on what to feed and how to feed. So I normally touch that with one hand. I'll wash my hands off just because this is raw meat. And like, you guys know, I don't eat meat myself. I'll eat fish, so I'm like a pescatarian. Um, I've been a vegetarian for a long time. So I don't actually eat meat myself, but I feed my dogs meat, which is kind of funny. And the, one of the main reasons why I do this, uh, the whole reason why I changed, was because Franklin, this dog right here, would get crazy allergies, like insane allergies. His immune system was horrible. He would always poop diarrhea on the floor. Every day we would wake up and there'd be diarrhea on the floor. And we were feeding him really good dog food kibble. It wasn't just like Iams, it was like really high grade, expensive food. And he was just having the worst time. So I switched into raw food and I actually really liked it. I started noticing a huge difference in his fur and his coat. And just like the way everything looks, you guys can kind of see like how shiny he looks. He just looks so good, like a little angel. So now that my hand is clean, I need to get Willie's plate out as well. These are trash. I have two extra drumsticks I'll put away in the fridge. Put that up here. All right, so I'm just adding a little bit more meat here and I feel freaking sick. I just wanna like crawl out of my skin. I wanna like peel, zip, unzip myself. Okay, I wash my hands again. Sorry for our dirty thing. Wait, I wash my hands. Uh. I wash my hands, but I don't wash the dishes. Oh. All right, so here I have deep sea salmon oil. Love this stuff, full of omega-3s, omega-6s. Tell them what you subscribed with that. I get this from Amazon every month. I'll see that thing at the door. There's like this package. I'm like, what the heck is this? It stinks. Sometimes it leaks. Yeah, the last one just leaked, huh? I also like to give eggs. Now, I don't do the same routine every single day. Like I said, I switch it up often. Guppy gets egg too. It's kind of because you have to with raw food though. Yeah, I'll, I'll switch up like the eggs, I'll switch up the oil for coconut oil. Sometimes uh, you put the hemp seed, not hemp seed, but whatever that seed Yeah, in hemp there. oil. Sometimes I'll give blueberries to the dogs, and sometimes I'll give broccoli, primarily to Franklin and Guppy. Guppy's another dog who will eat anything. Jelly, on the other hand, not so much, but we can try it. Willie absolutely will not. Um, Right now I'm also giving Kiefer just because it's allergy season. And you wanna make sure that your dogs have the best immune system ever full of probiotics. So Kiefer has a lot of, that might've been too much, has a lot of probiotics. Um, and then I sometimes will do a dash of turmeric. We have a cow named turmeric now. Are we keeping yeah. his name turmeric? What do you uh, wanna do with that? Name Billy. I think we'll have the subscribers choose a name this coming uh, month. All right, so the dog's foods are done. Here's Guppy, Guppy knows where he eats it. Pa, good boy. 
So Guppy eats inside, all the raw food is eaten outside. What I mean, they eat, they eat on our couch. Yeah, no way. <laughs> All right, you guys, so this was so weird. I was rubbing my hands in the dirt because I was planting, and all of a sudden I see this little lizard. Do they, do, do lizards lay their eggs in dirt? That was so weird. I didn't cover him or anything. He came out of the dirt. So weird. I'm planting a bell pepper. Okay, guys, so now that the dogs are fed and I still have a headache, here's baby bird. Hi, sweetie. Hi. So, Baby Bird doesn't get any dinner. She has pellets in her cage, and she also gets vegetables during the day. So she kind of just for yeah, she kind of just forages throughout the day, but she doesn't get a specific dinner. So she's easy. So when I'm home, I leave her out on my screened-in patio. That way, she can fly around and have fun, and then. At nighttime or when I leave, I pick her up and I bring her to her cage. She says, yeah, pick me up, pick me up. Okay, and when I go to do it, she's gonna say, no, don't do that. Oh, you're gonna lay down? All right, are you ready for bed, baby bird? Yeah, are you ready? Let's go. Yes, your bed. There you go. Oh, yeah. So usually by this time she goes in her cage, she's not hungry. I'll just check and make sure that she has her pellets. And I'll make sure that she has fresh water and she does. Also during the day, I'll give her peanuts and other shelled nuts. But since it's nighttime and it's bedtime, she's going to sleep. Okay, baby bird, I love you, good night. We have to feed Barry. So Barry is my beta fish that I've had for a long time. Barry is kind of sick. He has a tumor and um, this is kind of common with beta fish, unfortunately, if they live long enough, which most of them don't, but if they live long enough, they'll get, um, some of them, they'll get tumors and um, it's partially because beta fish are extremely inbred. So there is his tumor, as you can see. He's had it for a long time. I wanna say like a year, two years. He has had that tumor for a while now. It used to be very, very, very small and then it got bigger and bigger and bigger. It doesn't really affect him except his swimming. He's not as active anymore. He's an old beta. He's probably like four years old now. So yeah, that is Barry. All right, you guys, so I am going to check my quails quick. All right, here we are to the quails. So I'm going to need to pick up some eggs today and then I will give them some cricket celebrations. Uh, oh my gosh, we're out. Dang. All right, I'll have to give them cricket celebrations tomorrow. Let's just check on them and make sure they have food. Hello, hello. So they have a lot of food left. Which is great. Hi, how's your guys' nest doing? Oh wow, I see some new eggs in there. Very nice. Are you gonna hatch me some eggs or no? Are you really gonna hatch me some eggs or nah? All right, so I'll just grab some of these. There's an egg in their food thing. Nice, these ones are dirty. All right, we had an egg in there. All right, so I'm not gonna feed these to my dogs just because they are a little bit dirty. Now I'll check on my Conternix quail. All right, these quails also have food. Happy quails, I need to do a whole redo, revamp of their cage. Hopefully I'll get around to that this month. I just threw some new hay in here for hides and stuff. It looks pretty for a bird, but it does not look pretty for a human eye. Conternix quails need a quail poop revamp. 
these quails over here i love if i could go back i would have bought two of those cages and not this one this one was more expensive believe it or not and i hate it and this one was like 500 dollars and this was like over a thousand dollars this was 500 dollars um not including the predator proofing that i had to do with that this one overall wins by far all right so now i am back up at the stables i am a little bit sweaty wow it's humid outside anyways my headache has subsided a little bit you know sometimes just taking your mind off of feeling sick actually makes you feel better keeping yourself busy even though it's hard to do when you don't feel good anyways that was my sick headache routine feeding all my pets if you guys enjoyed it and want a morning routine or i think i'm gonna do a meet all my pets video soon that way you guys get to meet all of them because we have a lot of new ones that you guys have slightly met but i'd like to go a little bit more in depth with them anyways i love you guys so much give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in my next video bye hey it's me franklin you need to actually watch this video down below uh, it'll make my mom happy. So just click that down there and I promise you're gonna see me because I'm so famous I will be in the video. So you need to need to click that video right there. Thanks. Bye